right guys, welcome back to the only channel bringing you BMAT tips and tricks to make it through the schoolhouse. If you're here, congratulations on passing your day four PC. Today we're going to get after some series resistive circuits. All right, so a couple things with series circuits. In series circuits, there's only one path for current, leaving the negative terminal of the battery and passing through R1, R2, and R3, then returning to the battery at the positive terminal. Series circuits are also known as voltage dividers. Applied voltage, or EA, is divided amongst each component proportionally based off of the resistance value of each component. The sum of the individual voltage drops will equal your applied voltage. In a series circuit, we are concerned with three values when it comes to performing calculations. Applied voltage, or EA, total resistance, or RT, and total current, or IT. To calculate the total current of our series circuit, we add the individual resistor values together. This is now our RT. To find IT, we divide our applied voltage by the total resistance. This is our IT, 6 milliamps. Now, to calculate the individual voltage drops for each resistor, take each individual resistor value and multiply it by the total current, 6 MA. These will be expressed as ER1, ER2, and so on. ER1 equals the resistance value of R1, or 6K, times IT, which was 6MA, and that gives us 36 volts across R1. We can repeat the same process, substituting the values of R2 and R3 to get their individual voltage drops. Now, to move on to some basic troubleshooting for series circuits. If you remember from lecture, the most important page to memorize in the schoolhouse is on page 75. Does OMOM and SOMO ring a bell? When troubleshooting a component that is open or has been removed from the circuit, we need to remember that if there is not a path for current to flow from one terminal of the battery to the other, we will not have current flow. The component that is open is going to measure applied voltage when measured using a multimeter. Good components will measure zero volts and the resistance of your circuit will measure infinite or OL. Now we will take a look at troubleshooting a shorted component. This will be noted as being replaced with a wire. This malfunction in the circuit will cause the RT of the circuit to decrease. IT will increase due to it being inversely proportional to resistance. In our sample problem here, the RT decreases from 10K to 7K. Applied voltage, 60 volts divided by resistance of 7K gives us our new current of 8.57 milliamps. Now we take the current and multiply it by each individual resistance in the circuit. 8.57 milliamps times 6K gives us 51.42 volts. 8.57 milliamps times zero resistance gives us zero volts. And 8.57 milliamps times 1K gives us 8.57 volts. This brings us to our last circuit malfunction, changed value. This causes all circuit values to increase or decrease. So we see here in our sample problem that RT decreased from 10K to 6K, which means that our current is going to increase up to 10 MA. Then we calculate our voltage drops just like we would using Ohm's law. Just a couple things to remember. If resistance increases, current is always going to decrease. If current increases, then resistance is going to decrease. And just like that, guys, we covered series circuits. As always, stay classy, keep your head up.